developers have their own reasons to target only specific users' devices regions, so you should see incompatible errors when installing apps from Google Play Store or even sideload them through app. Outdated Android OS versions, old 32-bit chipsets, no touchscreen TV, etc. are obvious reasons. Bear in mind that simply installing an incompatible app won't necessarily make it work. Some apps may actually be incompatible with your device, while other apps will only work when used within the US. Howtogeek.com With rooted devices, you can spoof the device brand, alter mobile carrier, etc. For modern computing with a high level of privacy, region independent, you can use VPN as a permanent internet safeguard solution. Sometimes. That is a bug that a developer accidentally left behind that Play Store rises the error, in that case, you can download the .app file directly on apppure.com or appmirror.com then install it manually. Is it possible to view Android Manifest.xml file? I just changed the extension of the app file to zip. This zip file contains the Android Manifest.xml file. But I am unable view the contents of Android Manifest.xml. It is fully encrypted, stackoverflow.com. Beside guess and try solutions like clearing Play Store app data, creating a new Google account, etc., a geek has a proper method is to view the Android manifest.xml by extract decompile the app file. Then with Notepad++, search for, required equals true to see the fatal mandatory that your devices do not match. I cannot open the installed Facebook version on my MXQ Kingbox Rockchip RK3229, with this method I see it require Google's Leanback Launcher to work. Download this release may come in several variants. Consult our handy FAQ to see which download is right for you. Requires Android TV These require Android TV and cannot be installed on your phone or tablet, appmirror.com. By download the app manually, you should take care of the processor's architecture, Android OS minimum version as well as the screen DPI. In this case, universal, Android 4.0.3 plus, not P requirements can be matched by almost devices, phones or tablets. However, what makes different is the require Android TV constraint, it needs something you may call the proprietary launcher for TV is leanback launcher of Google. APK files remain encrypted zip archive so you need a specialized tool to decompile it, fortunately without Java SDK runtime, we can leverage this online tool to view the metadata of the app. App tool, reverse engineer Android app files decode resources from the app file to its original form. You can see Wi-Fi and touchscreen are optional which are marked as false, meanwhile, Android TV needs a more complex launcher to display fragment featured contents to the home screen that other launchers, like ATV Launcher, HA Launcher, etc. which claim compatibility with the TV platform simply do not save your day. Leanback theme The V17 Leanback support library includes theme.leanback, a theme for TV activities that provides a consistent visual style. 
We strongly recommend using this theme for any TV app built with the V17 Leanback classes, Android.com. Leanback is required if you want to make Android TV app and upload it to the Play Store. It is likely a system component rather than a launcher alone. Almost custom ROMs for Logic or Rockchip Android boxes lack this core feature. So, go ahead, install it with AppTwad or Google Play. Android TV Launcher is the jumping off point for starting all activities on your Android TV entertainment device. The launcher is optimized to put content at the center, from casual movie watching, to edge of seat, immersive gameplay, aptwad.com. The launcher is optimized to put content at the center, from casual movie watching, to edge of seat, immersive gameplay. It's all about finding and enjoying content with the least amount of friction and providing quick access to all the features Android TV has to offer, play.google.com. With APK Easy Tool, decompiling an APK is as simple as selecting the APK through the tool. It then decompiles the APK into a folder where you can modify things. Recompiling it again into an APK is also as easy as clicking a button. The interface also displays information about the APK such as package name, version, minimum SDK version, and version code, droidviews.com. Without change the bundled launcher of TV, you can modify the APK file itself to ignore the requirement with binary method or APK easy tool then sign the app again with private key and certificate. Changing an Android application and repackaging it is also a breeze usually, AppTool supports this natively, I just have to sign the resulting APK with a key of my own. However, this application used some features that AppTool didn't like, silentsignal.eu.